these uh, Diego strip designs. Um, today I have a LED strip that we're gonna repair. This LED strip it comes from a UNF six the six thousand series or something like that. Um, it actually I'll show you here that it's a uh, let's see board number is two five three one seven alpha. And there's also a, a different one, a 253118 alpha or 116 uh, alpha. Um, so I'm going to show you here how to repair this. Or basically, I'm going to show you how to know what, when, what something's wrong or how to repair it. So give me a sec. Okay, so you're going to need your LED tester. Um, and I know not many people have this, uh, but... It's actually pretty, this is pretty cool because this is like maybe 30, 40 bucks on eBay. Um, I test LEDs. I, I, you know, obviously I buy it because I'm, I know I work on TVs and whatnot. Um, but a different way that you can do this is by plugging in your TV. Sometimes you'll see a flash. And within that flash, you can see which LEDs do not come on. You have to repeatedly do that, turn it back on, turn it back on. Like so you'll see a flash, um, but you have to have the LCD panel off. So that, you know, I have I have pictures, I mean videos of other methods of you know of doing that. It's just it just kind of takes forever to do that. But this is the easiest way that I, that I find um, in, in testing these. So basically, positive with with negative. Um, it, it shows you even right here, uh, positive here, negative in here. So. You know, as you can see, this one right here did not light up. Uh, and I'm getting 22.8 volts. So if we do the math, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. And then one of them is not working, so that makes 8. 8 times 3, 3 volts each would be about 24 volts. And maybe just some loss here and there. 22 volts, 22.8 is 23 volts. So um, this one right here, I can test individually um, like this one you know if it one works if, it, if one way doesn't work flip it over the other way and you'll be able to get test and so I put on this one this next one it basically doesn't want to light up and you, you can see here it, there's just zero volts here that means to say that there's a short within this uh, this LED this one doesn't say that it actually says 2.8 volts, 2.93. So we know that this is good. The whole strip is good. The only thing that's bad is just this one right here. Um, and you have to take out the little covers here. So I'm going to be repairing that. And I'll give you all a close-up on how to repair that. Stand by. So here's the LED. I'm, I'm going to use my my Benzomatic, uh, you know, thingy here. I'm going to turn it on. Make sure you have gas in there or propane and butane. I light it up. You can hear the, the gas hissing. And then you'll see the butane get orange. So that's when you know we have uh, heat coming through. So normally what I actually do is I take the, the torch off. But in uh, this case, I don't want to damage the LED too bad, too much. Um, so I'm not going to take the, t the torch function off here. Um, I'm actually going to resell this LED to somebody that I, I sold it to, uh, obviously. Um, so I have the LED strips here. Now I do sell them online. Uh, I have an eBay store. It, it's a Diego Stang. If you need them, let me know. Um, you know, I can give you a pretty good deal. I sell them in, in uh, sets of 10. So, you know, in this case, you don't want to pay 25 bucks for this whole strip. You can, you know, repair just one. But, um, yeah, let me know. So, I'll wait till this gets a little loose here. Still not warm enough to loosen up. 
And these are three bolts. Um, I believe there are six bolt versions, but I haven't seen them in Samsung yet. Um, I mean, there's there's plenty of other different LEDs, but they look very identical. And I'll give you a close up in a little bit. Still nothing. I mean, I'm gonna boost her, increase the heat a little bit. Still nothing. Should be getting loose here. There we go. So I'm gonna turn it off here. And I'm gonna remove. Let me take the other one off here. Give me a sec. So the same way you take it off, same way it goes in, of course. Alright, so what I'm going to do first is actually going to heat up the back part first because I want to see the, the solder, I want, I want the solder to kind of liquefy first before I drop it on. Um, if I were to drop the LED in there before, um, I ruin, I, you know, the LED can can ruin itself. You know, I risk the chance of it ruining it. Um, so, of course, better be safe than sorry. We're just gonna heat up the pad first. And I, like I said, this strip I I, I sold it for almost twenty five dollars. Uh, just one strip. Uh, the TV I know has two strips per row. And. They, I think it's like six rows that it has. So if you think, do the math, if two or three of them went out, you're going to be paying almost 75 bucks for those strips. Um, now if you buy the LED strips themselves, I mean the LEDs, then you're only going to be paying them about 15 bucks. It's just a matter of doing this, this job or, or work, whatever. Um, which is kind of satisfying as well, knowing that you prepared, you know, your, your TV without the need of the help or whatever. So this one actually has like a unique pattern. Um, it's kind of hard to see here. It's like a unique pattern, a wavy line. Um, just make sure that you you know you get the wavy line the right way. Um, match the, match these LEDs with the other ones. That way you know that it's it's in right and correct. Um, and you'll be all right. All right, so it should be nice and warm. I'm just gonna drop it on here. Kind of put it in place here. I don't wanna ruin the LED, remember that. So try not to apply too much direct heat. So, I'm going to see if this will work out here. Kind of push in a little bit. These tweezers work wonders, so. Yeah. So, let me connect my tester back on here. Give me a sec. Okay, so. Let's just test it from here, from the actual source here. And there we go. So, let me try it one more time. I wanna make sure I got a good co connection here. So we look at the voltage, it says 24.6. That seems good to me. Um, I know you can't, it's kinda of hard to see. 
but it says 24.6. Like I said, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times 3 volts uh, gives you close to 24.6. 27. Um, so, like I said, um, I do sell these on eBay. And they are... I mean, uh, you just saw that, you know, that they, they work. Um, they're pretty good quality. And I haven't had any issues with them. Let me give you a, a close up of that LED. I, I promised y'all. So let me show you the old LED real quick. It's my tweezers. Sorry about that, guys. Bringing y'all all over here. So this is the old LED. It's kind of hard to see because of the, the light here. There we go. Much better. Too much light, I guess. So. Come on. Man, that is hard to zoom in. Anyways. See how that this edge right here, there's a little lip. Right here in this, there's a little lip, a little flat edge. Uh, align that to the to the other one. Um, that way you know that you have it correct here. And then this is the back part of it. This is going to be kind of a little bit hard to to align it, um, but practice makes perfect. Um, let me show you real quick the LED itself. Yeah, that's a better picture. Or better. That's that old one. There it is. So hopefully this helps y'all. Um here's the board number two five three one seven alpha. Let me know how that goes for y'all. Um if y'all need to purchase any of these LED strips, let me know. Alright, and once again this one is where is it at? There it is. So it's a twenty thirteen LEDs, so the TV's there for the 2013. This is right here, 2013. Come on. SVS65F. So the F series. Alright guys, so y'all take care. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. Laters.